How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel and time for another trailer reaction. They are pumping them out over the past few days, haven't they? I mean, we've had the Black Widow trailer, we've had a trailer for Free Guy, which came out a couple days ago. We had the trailer for No Time to Die, the new James Bond film, uh, tomorrow, or at least at the time of recording this. We've got a trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie, but now, today, we have the trailer, the first official trailer for Wonder Woman, 1984 which obviously is the sequel to 2017's Wonder Woman which was directed by Patty Jenkins and I think regardless of your opinions on the DCEU I think there was a unanimous consensus that Wonder Woman was one of the stronger elements of this series as f as far as the DCEU is concerned now I I have no idea what the state of that is, whether the Snyder Cut is, is happening or not, what is considered canon now, who knows. All I know is, is that for me personally, the most recent entries of Shazam and Aquaman were good. They were, they were entertaining, but they weren't anything that I thought, oh, that's, that's a really really special superhero movie. I got that with the first Wonder Woman. I thought it was fantastically directed, made Gal Gadot a huge star. This was, this literally, like, she was good. She was fine in Batman v Superman, but this freaking catapulted her. Like, this, she, this, she took this role and ran with it. I thought it was a really solid throwback to a, to a gung-ho type of superhero movie, a, a film, a, a genre that... I don't know, has been kind of fumbling around to try and make itself new. This kind of just reinvigorated a really classic feeling. And so with 1984, as far as the plot is concerned, I don't I don't know. Um, I know Chris Pine is back. I doubt as Steve Trevor, because spoilers for the first Wonder Woman, um, he died in a plane crash. So I'm assuming... This might be like his son or grandson, maybe, which would be kind of weird if Wonder Woman starts a relationship with. That's that's just confusing. Um, also, it has Pedro Pascal, who's currently killing it in The Mandalorian, as Max Lord, who's a, a very well-known DC comic book character. And you also have Kristen Wiig as Cheetah. Personally, she isn't the, the top actress. If you told me they were casting Cheetah, she wouldn't be my top pick. She wouldn't probably be in my top ten. But obviously they cast her for a reason. So I'm, I am I kind of want this trailer to to give me a hint at what the story could be. I, I The action is going to be amazing. But just give me a hint. Give me a taste of what we could expect. But let's watch the trailer and find out. My life well, there she is. hasn't been what you probably think it has. We all have our struggles. Have uh, you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. That was Christian Wick. You? So many times. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> ah, okay, I like the retro feel. Ooh! Welcome to the future. Life is good, but it can be better. That's Max Lord. Well, why shouldn't we be? Woo! All you need is to watch it. Oh! Think about finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today. But you can save the world. Huh? Now, I take what I want in return. So, did he die? Everyone must see. Oh! Oh! I will need you. <laughs> you know what you need to do. 
What is he doing now? Yo! Alright, back on Themyscira. Nothing good is born from lies. And greatness is not what you think. Holy shit! Is she... She's swinging on my... Ning! Oh my god. It's all art. Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. <laughs> well then. I'm really liking the tone that they've got set here. It's, uh... It's, it's definitely really digging into that retro 80s cool hip vibe. Also, the trailer seemed to pretty much answer the question that this this is Steve Trevor. This is the Steve Trevor that 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 died in the first Wonder Woman. So how he's still around, still the same age. Um, I don't quite know how that's going to be explained. That's then going to get really technical in terms of of, of, of the timeline and, and Diana in Batman v Superman, but I, I've just kind of come to the conclusion that if you start to analyze the DCEU too much, it's just going to hurt your brain. Um, what I do like in this instance is obviously that in Wonder Woman, Diana was the fish out of water. Chris Pine was having to teach her the, 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 the ways of, of, of humans and, and this, this new modern, almost modern day civilization, and she had to sort of adapt or, or, or learn how to fit in, how to blend. Whereas, whereas now the opposite, it's kind of the opposite situation. She's grown to live and 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 stay seemingly normal within our world. And now he's kind of, I presume, just been ripped straight from the World War One, and now he's in modern day. So how is he going to sort of like grow? As, as a person and, and how is she going to help him sort of bring him into this new world as far as the villains are concerned it seems to be that max lord who seems to be like this multi-millionaire mogul is probably one of the, the main antagonists crystal wig is popping up we didn't really see her as cheetah although judging by it i think she's gonna come she's gonna become a villain towards the third act maybe Maybe it's a product of whatever Max Lord is up to. Who knows? So I really didn't get a, a sense of what Kristen Wiig can kind of bring to the film. But I'm still interested to see how it can go. Trailer looks good. Film looks good. I'm excited. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts for the official trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Let me know what you thought of the trailer down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this film down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The links to all of my social media accounts are in the description below. Many thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.